Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, May 13th. In our devotion for today, I've got two illustrations I want to share with you about uh, the deeper, intimate relationship that we can have with God. Now, remember, this comes out of our greater discussion about the true self versus the false self. The false self is our corrupted identity that the world has foistered upon us, that is entangled and entrenched itself in us. Um, the true self is the new life, uh, our new identity that Christ wins for us with his death and resurrection. For the last several days in our devotions, we've been looking at different elements about the true self and the false self. And one of the things I wanted to uh, focus on today was the kind of relationship that we get when we embrace the true self, this intimacy uh, that we have with God. Because the whole purpose about going on this journey to discover and embrace our true selves is about, in its heart, developing a deeper connection, a more intimate experience with God. And the first one is this. It's our private life versus our public life. I have an illustration I want to give you here. And um, if you have a, a piece of paper, cut it uh, in about a two-inch strip like this. Um, and we're going to make a Mobius strip. A Mobius strip is when you take it and you twist it around like this. So you've got like a, a circle. But instead of attaching the ends as you normally would in a circle, you flip the ends around. So it looks like this. Now, a Mobius strip is unique because it is a circle that has only one side. If you start following your finger and tracing, you will continue just to be on one side the entire time. Woohoo! That's my illustration for today. Now, why is this important? Because we have to come to grips that our deeper, intimate relationship with God is like a Mobius strip in the sense that our private life and our public life are deeply intertwined and connected. They are just facets of the same life. We tend to dichotomize our lives, especially as Americans. We have our professional life, we have our home life, we have our public life, we have our private life, we have our entertainment life, we have our work life, we have this, that, we have family life, extended family life. We have all these different areas and we actually build walls, we dichotomize, we keep them very separate and neat so there's not uncomfortable interactions between the two. And the difficulty we experience as followers of Christ when we embrace our true identity is that we discover that our private life and our public life are going to be reflective of one another. We cannot have a, a deep, intimate relationship with God only in our private life. It doesn't work like that. And we can't do it just in our public life and still have a secret, hidden private life of our own. It is one brand new identity. And this true identity, as we connect with God, in order to go deeper, we're going to have to be allow our true identity to rule both our public lives and our private lives. We have to break down the walls of separation that we build between these different areas in our lives. And our true identity has to be embraced in every single area for us to be truly who we were created to be, to experience this true, profound, deep relationship with God, this intimate relationship with God. Another way of looking at it is this. Think of uh, God's grace and love being like a pipe. We connect one end to God and it goes into us and we want all of the good stuff, all the blessings, all of those wonderful, great experiences just flowing down through that pipe into our lives. But it doesn't work like that. You see, the other end of the pipe has to be connected to the world around us. And what happens is in order for us to have that deep, intimate awareness and experience of God, in order to be able to see and recognize life-changing, transformative miracles actually happening. And they do happen. Believe me, trust me. The other end of that pipe has to be connected to the world around us so that God's blessings, love, forgiveness, God's presence, God's transformative work, the power of the Holy Spirit, all of that flows from God through us into the world. If it's a stopgap thing, it's not going to work. We're not going to get what we really want if we reserve God just for our private life and just for private experiences. However, if that pipe begins with us and goes out into the world and we think, okay, every once in a while I have a public experience, uh, I serve my neighbor, I do a good thing, that means I'm experiencing the deeper intimacy with God. And that's not true. The pipe has to be attached to God, go through us, out into the world. When that happens, when we are experiencing God and we're allowing our true identity to have control over our private life and our public life, that's when we uh, experience the deeper inner journey. That's when we experience true transformative experiences. 
So embracing our true selves is something that we do in our public life, in our family life, in our private life, in all the different areas where we uh, exist everywhere. Uh, and as we do that, as we throw off the false self, uh, the false pu public self and the false private self, as we do that, we do experience the deeper intimate journey. Amen. Amen. Tonight is Wednesday, so it is our prayer meeting is at 7 o'clock tonight. Go ahead and send me your prayer requests. Uh, email them to me at pastor at alpinelutheran.com, uh, or you can uh, send them via our app. There's a prayer wall section there. You can just write on that and send me your prayer requests. They'll come directly to me, uh, and then I can pray for you tonight at 7 o'clock. Feel free to join me Facebook Live as I'll be praying for our entire community. Also, this Wednesday, or sorry, this Saturday, we do have our drive. We're picking up supplies to help Carpenter's Place, Mosaic, and the local food pantry. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., the, the school entrance on the southwest side of the building. Drive up your car. Someone will be there to help uh, grab it out of your uh, car. You don't even have to get out of your car. Um, you can see our website for a list of uh, items that are needed to be donated. In the meantime, uh, take hand, hand in and we'll see you uh, for our devotion for tomorrow. Uh, this Sunday, we have worship live on Facebook at 9, as always. Take care. Uh, look in on those who are most vulnerable. Amen.